Hi, welcome to this week's Whiteboard Wednesday. My name is Francisco. I'm a senior enterprise security consultant with Rapid7, and I'm here today to talk to you about doing AppSec work in the field and also learning and building your own expertise as you build yourself up as a practitioner in that world. Now, we're going to be talking a bit about AppSpider, Rapid7's DAST tool, that's Dynamic Application Security Testing, if you didn't catch the acronym there. And when you're working with a dynamic AppSec tool like that, there are three main phases that you're going to follow. The first one is coverage. In order for an automated dynamic tool to be able to test a particular application, it has to interact with that application successfully. It's actually going in live and sending requests, getting responses just like a user might in order to perform its testing. That's the dynamic part of DAS. And if you're not correctly interacting with that application, then you're not going to be successful being able to launch attacks. You're going to have low visibility, low coverage. You're going to have blind spots at the end of the day. So coverage is a very, very important first step there. Then you get into your attacks. A lot of people jump the gun and go straight into trying to launch attacks right away, and they don't really learn the fundamentals first of how dynamic scanning works. So get your coverage set and then move into the attack phase. Once you've got a lot of automated attacks running, then you can pick and choose where to spend your high cost dollars in terms of manual effort. When you want those real experts going in and doing deep dive, you don't want them finding the stuff that could easily be picked up in an automated fashion. That's a poor use of your time, poor use of your money. So by building that platform of coverage and then of the automated attack suite, you can then more effectively, more efficiently use those high cost pen test and analyst resources. Now, as an individual, as a practitioner, as you learn to do each of these phases, you'll also be learning the entire space of application security. You'll see that as you learn how to get better coverage in your applications, you're actually learning the basics and more advanced topics of web technology. You'll have to deal with advanced frameworks. You'll have to deal with APIs in order to improve your coverage. As you improve your attacks, you're actually learning AppSec itself. This first portion is really just applications in general. When you hit that second phase, that's the security part of AppSec. And as you learn more about those attacks and as you use the information that AppSpider gives you and the reference material that we link to from OWASP, from CWE material, you'll be learning as you go the fundamentals of application security. And then, once you've got good coverage, once you've got good attack sets running, you can actually start to spend your time that you've saved with all that automation doing more advanced research, doing more advanced pen tests, more advanced analysis, and learning to be a true AppSec professional. That's how you build up from walking in the door to being effective with AppSpider, and how as you go along, you build yourself up from a novice to a true AppSec pro. Thank you very much. That's it for this week's Whiteboard Wednesday. We'll talk to you next week.